Hey, it's Richard Pyatt. Another Richard's Ride Extra you're about to watch. And you know how we do this. Sometimes we talk about cars. Sometimes we talk to people who are involved with cars. One of them in Battle Creek who's involved with cars is Vince Pavone, the proprietor of Lakeview Ford Lincoln. What's interesting about Vince is here's a man who you don't encounter too often. Someone who comes to town from somewhere else, doesn't have a lot of stake in the community, but decides to buy a business, invest in that community, and then by virtue of working here also makes a commitment to try and affect change in the community, positive change. And so in this Richard's Right Extra, we talked to him about that, and we talked about cars too. What excites you about Ford these days? You know, everywhere I go, unsolicited, people come up to me and say, you guys have great products. And that's just, that gets me going, okay? Because, you know, a, a mentor in this business told me once again, sometimes we become desensitized to the whole experience. And we drive brand new cars every day, and, and there's a new model that comes in every day. But when your customer gets in that car, they only buy, depending on their age, obviously, so many cars in their lifetime. And for them, it's, it's a brand new experience so when unsolicited customers tell us about how great our products are it kind of gets us going so that when we sell them a car we can really get them excited that new car smell that walk around the new technology the who's and the ahs so to speak so we really we're really fortunate ford's done a great job keeping our our showroom fresh with new products and great products and now this association that I've had with you now for this period of time, somebody came up to me this weekend and said, I got my consumer reports and, and uh, almost all of the Fords are recommended in there. And they, that was unsolicited to me, too. You probably get that a lot. And we get that a lot. I mean, they, they're, they're best in class when it comes to gas. Uh, mileage, which these days with the the gas so cheap, it's you'd think it wouldn't be as big of a selling point. But you know what, gas mileage is always a selling point, mm -hmm. uh, even which promotes what the change from from cars to SUVs, CUVs, and trucks. Which again, Ford's best in class. I mean, we had the Escape, and of course the F one hundred and fifty. And then, you know, the Explorer, has, has, for families, has really taken off recently as Ford's gotten more aggressive with some of the, the leasing options. And, of course, my favorite, which is the, uh, the Edge, which is the MKX platform, which, which I think that's perfect for, for, uh, for uh, being an active guy doing a lot of things. Well, you know, when they introduced that model, Ford said, we're getting out of the minivan business because more people are going to buy this than they are minivans. Is that played out? Nobody makes a minivan anymore. Even even Chrysler Dodge is getting out of the minivan business. So for uh, GM and Ford never did it very well. It was really uh, Honda Odyssey did it real well, and uh, the Caravan, uh, uh, Town and Country, mm -hmm. and then and and again, there's a guy in in uh, Battle Creek who's made a living in the used car market selling fans, yeah. but that market is slowly uh, slowly going away because families want to have that versatility and flexibility to do more than just cart. And of course, there was always a stigma. Right. I, I always wanted to put my wife in a van, but my wife did not want to be in a van. <laughs> <laughs> so you chose Ford. To come to Battle Creek, but you could have chosen a different store in a different place. Not really, Richard. That's actually a great question. I'm probably, other than yourself, I'm probably the second luckiest guy, you know? <laughs> um, no, that's not the case. When, when I was working for a Chevy store in Rochester Hills, Michigan, we were looking for a franchise. And it happened to be that Les Stanford had the franchise in Battle Creek and, and he was failing. Mm -hmm. So for lots of different reasons, we spent two years trying to figure out how in, in Battle Creek, Michigan, Ford wasn't doing well. Right. And I mean, it's a story I tell very often that, you know, the, at the end of the day, they had never had a dealer for almost 20 years who lived in the community, who was committed to the community. Everybody, all the dealers up and down the row were longtime West. If they weren't Battle Creek guys, they were West Michigan guys who were part of the fabric of the community. So that was our plan and uh, that was our, our vision. 
and it's been successful but no we didn't specifically seek out a, a ford franchise although while we were going through this process we lost saturn we lost pontiac a number of ford stores and uh, gmc stores lost their their franchises as there was consolidation so there were a lot of things that happened in that process of, of determining coming to battle creek so i am the second luckiest guy <laughs> that you know <laughs> Now, let's talk about being involved in the community because uh, Scene Magazine pointed this out recently. Uh, not only are you not necessarily from here, but when you came here, you, you made a commitment to the Ford store, but you brought with that sort of a family heritage of being committed to the community in which you live and do business. Uh, talk a little bit about that and the motivation for that. You know, it's so funny because it's, you know when when you have when you do certain things like service to the community after doing it for a few years, everybody thinks you're really smart. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was really emulating my father-in-law, emulating uh, to some degree some of the things that my mother did in. Uh, and political life in Beverly Hills. Um, I did certain things, but it was selfish for my kids, you know, in terms of serving. And when we came to the to Battle Creek, um, I really didn't know what that looked like. Okay, but I knew that I wanted to make a commitment to help Battle Creek uh, f realize its fullest potential. And I didn't know what that was, okay? And, and only by meeting people uh, like Mike Back, Mark Binky, Joe Schwartz, to name a few, Ron Kitchens from Southwest Michigan first, did, do you start to formulate what that is for you, where you can find your passion to, to help the community? And, and one of the early things that we got involved with was was community inclusive recreation. I know you've had them on your show a number of times. Um, and and, and that helping the most vulnerable and the most challenged of all of us, okay? And that, that first foray into that, helping that uh, community by doing a fundraiser, which ended up being the kickball tournament, mm -hmm was uh, so gratifying, selfishly. I don't know if we've ever sold a car, right. <laughs> okay? Yeah. But to serve that population and those participants and to get that reward was, was kind of the beginning for us. And my wife, Carolyn, is now on, uh, on that board and, and we've been able to uh, help them for, it'll be at least seven years this coming summer, and then we did we did some things with uh, the the zoo. We uh, Diane, who does such a great job over there, uh, had the Starry Safari back before you came in 2012, and we really tried to help motivate and help do a great job for them. We've been involved with things for the actually the Bronson just did their their pediatric pet pediatric care ambulance, and we tried to get involved with that to help that. And really, more than anything, it's just helping other people achieve their dreams and helping other people service. We don't have to create a, a new entity in Battle Creek. Everybody, well, let's start a nonprofit for this, or let's start that. We just have to connect with the people in the community already doing the good work and try and help them uh, do the best that they can do and connect with the people that they connect to with, can connect with to be successful. And that's been our, our philosophy. Even, I know you've been a great uh, supporter of us, even with, with the, the Christmas trees. We did want to have a Christmas tree sale, but we wanted it to do, we, because of our vision, we want to help somebody else do a Christmas tree sale and end up being the Optimist Club. And we've had an outstanding, terrific partnership with them for, it'll be our eighth sale coming up, which I, I can't even fathom. Right. We'll have, eight, have done eight sales. And then, and of course, to drive one for community and drive one for your school. I mean these dance teams and DECA clubs and, and marching bands have all benefited and it's just it's just so much fun you know there there was a march in battle creek and nico probably remembers this uh back i think it was around 2011 
and there had been some shots that had been fired out in front of, of Ballard Creek Public, and there was a lot of negativity on social media. And then there was a Saturday in the fall, and I remember this like it was yesterday, that Battle Creek Public and Harper Creek and Lakeview and St. Phil's all did a walk, and it was a We Are One walk. And some kids from Battle Creek came and wanted us to make a donation to uh, Honor Society uh, celebration that they were going to have. And instead of doing giving, just doing a donation, we ended up printing up a bunch of t-shirts and said, here's the t-shirts, go sell the t-shirts. And they sold, because we wanted to have them vested, we wanted to have them in the game, they sold those t-shirts, and instead of coming back to me to buy another, to give them another hundred, they took the money, bought another hundred on their own, and sold those. Uh -huh. So they were able to raise the funds for, for that. And it was, you know, those are the kinds of things, and by the way, it's just another example of, you know, selling Girl Scout cookies or I mean it's not this isn't Vince Pavone or Lakeview Ford but just where we can take some of those lessons and, and we can uh, um, in, integrate them into the community it just makes every makes the, the, the whole thing work together so